Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to share with you a really simple leave-in treatment that you can add to your regimen to help you keep your hair in good condition, help to thicken your hair, keep it super moisturized, prevent it from breaking and all of that good stuff. So if you are interested, please make sure you watch the video and you watch till the end because I'll show you how to make it and also how to use it towards the end of the video. Now before we get into it, I want to say a huge thank you if you are a, re a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for your support guys. Honestly, I wouldn't be doing this without you. Thank you so much and if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. So to begin with, we are going to use some flax seeds so i'm using the brown sorry the golden flax seeds but you can use a brown one as well or any other one that you have available so i'll be using about four to five tablespoons of flax seeds next i'm going in with some fenugreek seeds now flax is a quite high in protein which essentially is really good for your hair guys it helps to thicken the hair and also helps to prevent your hair from breaking fenugreek seeds quite great for your scalp um, it helps to stimulate hair growth, it helps to prevent scalp inflammation and itchiness and also helps to keep the hair super nice and moisturized. So it's such a great ingredient to have in your leave-in conditioner. So I added about, I think it was three to four tablespoons of fenugreek seeds and then I'm transferring the whole thing into um, a little pan. And I'm going to go ahead and boil um, the whole thing together you want to make sure that you're there and you're checking regularly because if you don't guys it is going to boil and boil over essentially so you want to make sure that you're constantly there and you're checking it now you know this is ready when the liquid starts to thicken and also becomes a bit slimy so that's how you know that it's absolutely ready so you can go ahead take it off the stove and then we're going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot now it just makes the process a bit easy if you want you can allow it to cool down but if the thing is it will turn into a gel which can make it a bit more difficult to strain um, later on so i always prefer to do it while it's hot and it's still like in its liquid form and then it will sit around and turn into a gel once it cools down so i'm going to now go ahead and use um cheap short bulk um conditioner this particular one i've been using it for a little while and i think i actually like it um you can use this as a deep conditioning treatment well from what it says on the tin or you can also use it as a leave-in conditioner so i added a bit of that and now i'm also going in with um the gel that we made earlier now notice it's not the full amount because i did use some of it in another video to make a pupil treatment i think you guys have seen that video already so this is just the leftover and i will be using this in my leave-in um, conditioner so i added the gel to to the um the short bulk conditioner and then i'm just going in here with some essential oil so i'm using rosemary essential oil tea tree essential oil peppermint essential oil and these are great for your hair guys and also for your scalp essential oils help to increase the blood flow to the scalp area which can essentially um, help to promote hair growth but apart from that the tea tree essential oil also has antibacterial properties which is really great because it just helps to keep the bacteria away from your scalp so after i added those essential oils i also added a bit of vitamin e oil and then I just close the jar and I'm mixing until everything is kind of combined and this is what I'm left with so that's your conditioner guys so it was a little bit thick for what I wanted it so I added I added just a little bit of water just to um, lighten up the consistency a bit but obviously if you are you're happy with the thickness you don't have to add the water so again I'm closing the jar and just you know shaking it so that it can mix better and then this is what I ended up with. So much lighter and I absolutely love this because it means I don't have to spray my hair with water. Before using this, I can apply it directly to dry hair and your hair instantly will feel super nice and moisturized. So we can close the jar and this can store in the house guys for a really long time. I think I made this um, and then I kept it in the house for about three to four weeks before using it and it was still great like 
you know it didn't change any color or anything like that so it was still really really good to use so i think you can store and use over a long period of time as well so now i'm going to show you guys how i'm using it on my hair so at this point my hair has been washed it has been deep conditioned um, but it's kind of dry again so i'm just going to go ahead and um, reapply moisture to my hair and also to and also like style my hair to be honest it, i don't even think it's that dry um but you know when you deep condition your hair and you just allow it to dry right so that's the kind of state that my hair is in right now so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to um, re-moisturize my hair to enable me to detangle and then i'll go ahead and style my hair as well so what i usually do especially now and at this time of the year when it's just really cold i tend to put my hair in braids um just because you know it's easier to protect my hair that way um, but also because i do go to the gym on a regular basis i feel like there's no other style really that works better for me um when it comes to like you know my gym lifestyle um so i prefer to have my hair in in braids because i feel like you know that's the best way that i can keep my hair and i can also wear wigs whenever i want to um perhaps you know change my looks or you know my style a bit so i'm working on smaller sections as you guys know and i'm just applying the conditioner to the section notice i didn't apply any water or anything um, that's why I wanted to make it a little bit lighter so that you know I wouldn't have to spray my hair with water beforehand and when you apply this to the hair guys it immediately feels really nice and soft and really easy to work with I also went in with an oil again that I made and I shared with you guys already in another video so I just used that oil to um, seal the moisture in my hair and now I'm using this Tango Teaser brush and I'm just going ahead and combing my hair just making sure it's properly detangled and then after that I'm going to put my hair in braids so I'm going to braid it and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat it um, throughout my hair until the whole thing is completely done now if you made it to this point of the video guys and you still haven't liked it please go ahead and give the video a like and also please subscribe to the channel if you're not already i would really really appreciate it so there's no need to wash this out of your hair after you've used it guys that's why i call it a leave-in conditioner so i'm not going to wash it out i will leave it in until my next wash day now you even if your hair is like protected um just like i'm putting my hair in braids right now um, you can still use it, you know, throughout the week. Um, perhaps you just restore the moisture to your hair. So you can just apply it to your braids, to your twists, or whatever it is that you've, you've got on your hair. Apply and also apply to your ends. Again, just to keep that moisture in. And then um, you can use some oil just to, you know, to seal, to seal the moisture. And then that's it, you're good to go. So use this perhaps twice a week. If you feel the need to um, and trust me your hair will certainly be moisturized and also it will keep its health so this brings me to the end of the video I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please thumbs up the video guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below I will get around to answering them for you as soon as I can also guys please subscribe to the channel if you're not already I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in my next video Bye now.